Well, sorry for the lack of updates lately, guys. I've actually had the swine flu, which is not a lot of fun, so I haven't been at work. I missed our grand opening, uh, but I got a package in the mail today, so here I am unboxing something that I bought uh, myself here. And it came in a box that's actually from one of our competitors here, so I, you know, I'm just covering up the logos here. As a lot of you know, I work at NCIX, so I'm not exactly going to go advertising for competitors. But anyway, so the guy packed it up really, really well for me here. It's got packing peanuts inside. So what I bought was a <clears throat> Frozen Q T-Virus Inverse Reservoir. So... First of all, here's the reservoir itself. Let's see what we have inside for accessories. I have an inverter, okay, which has two bare leads on it, and as well as a Molex adapter, okay, so these appear to be custom made. Very cool. All right, so all the wires go in one end rather than having like a pass through. I'll have to figure out how that works later. Okay, inside here we have, oh, this seems to be the mounting clips as well as a couple of screws. So these are clear acrylic mounting holders. So these are like a half uh, moon shape. Is one of them broken? I hope not. Maybe I better open these up really quick here. What did I do with my knife? Okay, let's see how we're doing here. I sure hope everything survived the shipment because this took a long time to come, let me tell you. It's a $150 reservoir and it must have taken a couple months to reach me just because of the, the highly custom nature of the work this guy does. Oh no, these look great. Okay, so there's my acrylic reservoir holders there. Those look awesome. Uh, let's see what else we got inside here. I have a PCI bracket. Oh, that's a switch for the light inside the reservoir. So the way this actually works, and I'll explain more later, is there's um, a he an acrylic helix inside. So you can see I have a liquid fusion type with a, t with a 250 mil tube. I mean 150 is a little small and 400 is really big. So I also have blue color and there we go. That is the full specs of the T-Virus Res that I purchased. You can get in touch with this guy over at Extreme Systems. You can't actually buy these in a store right now. I mean, it's the kind of thing where I looked at it and I went, okay, well, we could stock this, but how would we account for all the customization that people want to do? And that is gorgeous. So, here is how the res itself works. You have a bits power fill port that he's populated for me at the top here. And you actually fill the res via that. Now, it uses an aluminum housing for the top and the bottom, but the water doesn't actually make contact with that at all. Now, you can get optional silver or black caps. I went with the black caps on the top and the bottom. I think it looks pretty good. And then you can get different finishes on the actual helix structure itself, depending on what you prefer. You can get clear, or you can get kind of a frosted look so that when the black light inside, you can see the black light on the inside there glows, it will actually light up your UV fluid as well as the UV acrylic tube that is inside. Now at the bottom of the res, hold on, let me just get this back on. The threading seems good, actually, that's excellent. It's done a good job of that. On the bottom of the res, you will find the lead for my cathode that is inside. It seems to be all sealed up there, that's good. A couple of screws, as well as two G1 quarter ports. So I can use that to attach, looks like up to about 3 8 compression fittings, no problem. And one can be the input or intake, and one is the outtake uh, for water inside the reservoir. So. Uh, here's a couple shots of it lit up actually from uh, one of his posts on Extreme Systems so you can get a better idea But I think in a couple days once I've had a chance to work on the system this is going in I should be able to take some time and show it with some fluid inside it Thank you for checking out my video blog on the T-Virus Reservoir